Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, Douglas Ferguson here, and I just um, wanted to really quickly do um, this really quick, cool overview of um, of Colorista Four. Well, not really all of Colorista Four, just specifically this uh, guided color correction thing. So I've always had a problem. I just recently started shooting drone footage, and I've been having a problem with color correcting it. You know, it's just it always just looks so muddy even after I color corrected it and I've been, you know, I, I get I get by, but it takes a while to really get the colors right and the way I want them. And so I got Colorista 4 and I was just playing with this guided color correction thing and I used it on some drone footage and came out really, really well. And I was like, holy shit, this just like changed everything. So if you're like me and you're having a hard time with, um, with drone footage, I think this would be really cool, little neat, quick tool to uh, go through it. So let's just really quickly go through the guided color correction. So um, all you have to do is it's just really easy. You pick what video, which uh, which is your footage, which you shot it in, either video, flat video, log, or you don't know, and then whatever. So this is flat. Log, obviously you see here, it'll be blown out. Video will still be muddy. Flat video kind of leaves it you know, in the middle. And that's where we want it. And then you you get to play with each one of your, like the different levels, your black levels, your white levels. And um, what I've been doing is, and this is probably wrong, uh, when it turns blue, it says it's clipping. So as long as it's not blue, I usually just go to where the line is. So where that line is, either right before it or just a little after, but usually like kind of try to center it. Um, and just make sure I don't see any blue or any red or anything like that that would indicate that it was clipping. Actually, I'm just going to leave the white levels where they are. Mm, leave the midtones, obviously. Um, contrast. One thing is, is it's always pulling contrast out, which is fine because when you want to put your grade, your final grade on, you don't want a lot of contrast. So, because when you grade it, it'll be more contrasty than. That. And then finally, then you can bring in saturation. And as you're starting to see, it's looking pretty good. Now, this footage to me is still a bit warm. Let's boost it up a little bit. It's still, still a bit warm down in the shadow areas. I don't want it to look so muddy down there. I want it to be a bit cooler. And so I can actually cool off the footage just a bit to get it exactly where I want it. And that's it. It's that simple. Boom. You know, this looks really usable. Even I mean, I haven't even graded it yet. And I'm very, very satisfied with this footage. Um, obviously, the probably yeah, the, the, the thing is a bit shaky. But the drone's a bit shaky. But it was windy that day, as you can see, the flag waving. Uh, this is in Coney Island, New York. But um, it's just, it looks really good. And I've never gotten my drone foot. It's It's... Not this quickly anyway, gotten my drone footage to look that good. So if you're having a problem like me and you're not that good at uh, color correcting drone footage yet before, you know, not there's obviously everybody by now knows there's a difference between color correction and color grading. So if you're not that good at color correcting drone footage and you just need a little bit of help just when you have like quick turnaround times, this is the program to get. It's actually worth it just for that one little tool. There's a bunch of other things you can do with Colorista, but just for that one little tool, I feel like it was it's worth you know the price that I paid for it, which is like it's like 150 bucks, but it's worth it. Um, and it's like if you want to if you already have Colorista and you upgrade, I think it's like 99 dollars. So uh, it's actually worth it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick overview. I hope you find it useful. And I hope you guys go out and uh, get this if you have problems with your drone footage. There's, other, there's tons of tutorials on how to properly grade drone footage and all this other stuff. So if you just, it's not in your budget, you know, go find those, those, those tutorials and look at them. But if it is in your budget and you want to, like I said, you got quick turnaround times. If you do this for a living, you know, everybody who does this for a living knows that you never get enough time and you always have these like, really short deadlines, one week turnaround times, all that stuff. This is it. All right. Enjoy yourselves. Have a nice day.